In ballet, there is a move where the dancer bobs up and down on one pointed foot and she will keep spinning around. In those few seconds, the dancer was seen like a human top in perpetual motion. And this move is called fuetes. So what is the physics behind fuetes? To start off fuetes, the dancer is required to push off from her feet to generate torque. But what is torque? Torque is the measure of the force that can cause an object to rotate about an axis. Just as force is what causes an object to accelerate in linear kinematics, torque is what causes an object to acquire angular acceleration. And this is the formula for torque. Maintaining the rotation is the most challenging part, as there will be friction between the shoe and the floor, and not forgetting air resistance acting on her body. This reduces the momentum of the turn, so how is it possible to keep spinning without stopping? Firstly, how is momentum and torque related? When a torque is applied to an object, it begins to rotate with an acceleration inversely proportional to its moment of inertia. This relation can be thought of as Newton's second law of motion. The moment of inertia is the rotational mass and the torque is rotational force. Angular motion obeys Newton's first law of motion. In between each turn, when a dancer faces the audience for a split second, the foot flattens and it will generate a tiny amount of torque to increase the momentum on each turn. During this time, the dancer will open up her arms to help her keep her balance as it lowers the center of gravity. These are what help the dancer to continue spinning despite the friction present. To get more than one turn with just one leg extension, there are two ways to do that. Firstly, extend the leg sooner. The longer the leg is extended, the more momentum it stores and the more momentum returned to the body when the leg is pulled back in. More angular momentum means more turns before needing to replenish what was lost to friction. Secondly, bring the arms or leg closer to the body. The fuerte is governed by angular momentum which is equal to the dancer's angular velocity times the rotational inertia. The angular momentum has to stay constant for the dancer to keep spinning, which is called conservation of angular momentum. Rotational inertia is the body's resistance to rotational motion. It increases when more mass is distributed further from the axis of rotation and decreases when the mass is distributed closer to the axis of rotation. Therefore, when a dancer brings her arms closer to her body, the rotational inertia decreases. In order to conserve angular momentum, angular velocity has to increase, allowing the dancer to turn multiple turns with just one leg extension. Thank you!